counterfeit converts are quick to join the faith and quick to leave the faith. Many people go in and out the faith as easy as they go in and out of a hotel to spend a weekend at some theme park. Many people just dabble a little bit in the faith. They're quick to say, yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I believe Jesus is so wonderful. And then, you know, a few days later, a week later, a month later, even a year later, they say, oh, the Christian faith isn't real you know, this and that. And they make all these types of excuses because they were never truly saved to begin with. Counterfeit converts are those who were, have not been truly converted. They look the part, but they in, inwardly, they don't display the part. God is not lively within them. And so when things go wrong, when things get tough, when things aren't as they thought they were, they quickly leave the faith. I remember being in a church and, and someone was very zealous, like, oh, Lance, let's Let's go to the city. You know, he listed off the city two and a half hours away. And let's just go evangelize to the homeless and just talk about Jesus. And in my spirit, I was discerning. Uh, I don't really know if this person is in it for the long haul. They seem to be more of the Jesus love crowd rather than the Jesus love and holy crowd. And so after some time, uh, I, did, I ended up not going, but give it, I gave it another month or two. And uh, a couple months later, what, what do I come to find? I see this person on uh, Facebook, you know, saying Christianity isn't real and he's back to smoking weed and, and drinking and doing what he wants. And he just dabbled a little in the faith, but he wasn't truly born again. He was quick to join and be zealous. And it's fun and exciting to be part of something. Uh, but they left because the Holy Spirit was not truly in them. They were quick to leave the faith because it was not what they thought. And anyone can be off a zealous high at first coming to know Christ or first even thinking they're coming to know Christ. It's exciting, of course. But what does Jesus Christ say? It doesn't say, uh, you know, those who pray to prayer one time are saved. Uh, we know that it is those who endure to the end will be saved. Those are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's not those who are wishy-washy and kind of in, but kind of out, or, or just emotional zeal up front, but can endure uh, to the very end. It's not those who abort halfway and say, ah, this doesn't matter anymore. It is those who endure to the end. And we can only endure and persevere, not in our strength, but in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the only thing that dictates the amount of movement of the Holy Spirit within our lives is in it is through the submission of our will before God. We can pervert and we can prevent and we can suppress the Spirit working in our lives. We know this from Thessalonians and other places, places in Scripture. We know that that is the case. But uh, the more we submit our will to the Holy Spirit, the more lively the Holy Spirit flows. And then it's the Holy Spirit who is, is keeping us in the faith, who is helping us to persevere and endure to the very end. We can't do that in our own strength. But what we dictate is our will and our willingness to submit before God, to allow God to live through us, because we know that it is only God in us that can live for God according to God's word. So, uh, man, we just understand that counterfeit converts are quick to enter the faith and they're quick to leave the faith. And we need to continue to expose this because there are many lukewarm Christians and God says he wishes they, that people were hot or cold, meaning he wishes people were fully sold out for him or people were not at all sold out for him, that people basically hated him, that they were cold towards him. He would rather have that than lukewarm, this little religiosity game of, of pretending to be in something on a community basis, but not truly being within the church as being born again. God is tired of the lukewarm uh, Christians, Christians and lukewarm faith, and he is getting ready to pick up the church with his hand and to shake out those who are lukewarm and those who are professing to know him, but are not truly born again. God is ready to expose those who are counterfeit converts that do a disservice uh, to his name and do a disservice to the true body of Christ. And we know that God is calling all. Anyone can enter in the faith, but he is tired of the lukewarm faith. And God is getting ready to move and shake the United States of America and the world in such a way that has never been seen before because this counterfeit conversions and this religious game has gone on for far too long. God is looking to work through people and to reveal to the world those that are truly of 
his holy remnant, whom he has set apart for a time such as this.